Kashenga was founded on the idea of changing the status quo. You see, before I founded the company, 20 years earlier, I came up with the technology that's become the fundamental building block in cloud computing and cloud storage. At the time, I created it as a way of sharing information across different dialects or file systems and networking protocols. Now, 20 years later, those protocols, most people have never even heard of them before. But we continue to use the same building blocks and never stop to ask the question of why. So when I created Kashango, it was really to change things up. Why keep doing things the same way when we can do things better, when we can do things faster, when we can do things smarter, more energy efficient, more cost effective, greener, better for the world. That's why I created Kashango. My vision for Kashango is really quite simple. This is a symbiote. Now, most people won't know what a symbiote is outside of maybe some of the, you know, Marvel comics or Marvel movies. But we call this a symbiote because if you're to go to an electronics store and buy a solid state disk or a or a portable hard drive and take the plastic cover off, it's largely going to resemble this. But instead of just being a storage device, we've got a full-fledged computer. You see, we have a processor, we have the storage, we have memory, and we have networking on this. This is a standalone computer. And with this architecture, we can do pretty novel things, like package it up in what we call a bento. And a bento is an eight node compute and storage cluster. Most people won't care what that is. They won't know what it is. But the bottom line is this represents eight large computer systems or servers and yet it fits in the palm of my hand and it operates at under 50 watts of power. The problem that we're trying to solve at Kashango is really quite simple. You see, for the last 20 years, very large companies have really dominated the space when it comes to hosting our data, our applications. We went from buying computer systems that were largely located in our homes or businesses to putting all of our data and running our applications on computer systems that operate in some centralized cloud that we've never seen before. Now, there are merits to doing that. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for it, up to a certain point. But whatever happened to owning um, and operating our own equipment, we've given that up. We've put all the power into other people's hands, and when things go wrong, um, where's the accountability? We hear about security breaches all the time. With Kashango, I want to go ahead and use the power of our symbiotes, the power of our bento, and the power of our other products, and I want to put the power back into the hands of everyday people. Imagine that small brick-and-mortar companies that don't know anything about computing technology, but now they're able to stand up their own cloud presence. They don't have to write a single line of code. They don't have to go to school for any of that. We can take care of all that for them, they own it, it's their networking, it's their computing platform, it's their data. All of it is 100% theirs. Imagine that world. When it comes to our data, when it comes to the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning, is artificial intelligence bad? Now, in the movies, artificial intelligence is bad. In real life, it's the use of that artificial intelligence by humans in malicious ways that's bad. It's not the technology that's bad. Now imagine if we could go ahead and put all the technology that we are dependent on on a daily basis, the power of a Google, the power of a Twitter or Facebook, uh, powerful search engine capabilities into the hands of everyday people. Imagine in all the parts of America that don't have access to internet on their cell phones with AT&T, Verizon, or some other carrier, but now can go ahead and have their own 
uh, wireless communications capabilities to talk via voice or to send data with one another, but they're not dependent on some other company, some large conglomerate to be able to hold their future together. Basically, what I'm talking about is giving everyday people the building blocks to do it themselves. Now, they don't have to have PhDs to do it, but what they can have is a product, a solution that pulls it all together and makes it so simple for them to go ahead and do and puts the trust back into technology again. Why? Because we're putting the trust into everyday people and not to large corporations. Back in 2001, there were hundreds of MP3 companies out in the world. Now, none of them had particularly large market share. Why? They were clumsy, they held very little storage. They were completely disconnected in, uh, in an experiential fashion from the users until Apple came along. We even had a smartphone by then, but it didn't do particularly well until Apple introduced the iPod and its successor, the iPhone. In that same fashion, the symbiote can take artificial intelligence, machine learning, but more than that, it can go beyond that. It can actually give cloud computing applications the ability to run in parts of the world that they otherwise can't. Why? Because they're power constrained, they're size constrained, there's density constraints, number of different reasons why we might not be able to go there. But the symbiote provides that delivery vehicle. Now, the symbiote by itself would be pretty powerful. But what if I told you we also wrapped around this an entire collection of software that takes care of, of all the networking, all of the security, so that way everyday people don't have to worry about those security measures. Imagine, you know, every home pretty much has its own firewalls because of its internet provider. Imagine not having to open up a firewall. Imagine not having to trust a VPN like what we found during the pandemic when companies were shut down and, but they couldn't really communicate effectively. Why? Because they overwhelmed their VPNs. Imagine a world where we don't have to depend on that. We don't have to have that level of trust with everyone that, oh, I'm going to allow them onto my network. I'm going to share a common network. Well, what we've done is we've provided all those capabilities. We made it so simple for, pe for everyday people to use the power and harness the power of thousands and thousands of symbiotes around the world without ever having to write a line of code. We don't want them dependent on our own proprietary software. They can write their own software. They can download software for free out of our open source marketplace. They can go ahead and license and install using our software third-party applications that they've used for years and trust and like. The bottom line is the customer, the user, has the choice that they haven't had in over 20 years when we gave up those choices and we put all of our dependency on very large cloud-based companies. Let's say you want to get started with Kashango right now, but you're not sure what to do next. Just come on over to the website at www.kashango.com. From there, you can go ahead and schedule a demonstration with someone on staff and we'll walk you through, we'll show you all the different kinds of possibilities and use cases that you can fulfill with our solutions. Let's say you don't see anything on there, but you have a specific use case and you would like to see whether or not it can be done. We can go ahead and put that together for you and we can show you and walk you through that. How much does all this cost? It must cost a fortune, right? It doesn't. It actually starts as low as a dollar per day. A dollar per day. And with a dollar per day, you don't have to write a single line of code. If we haven't already provided it, we can go ahead and provide it for you. If you need the solution to be on premise, it's going to cost a little bit more. Those solutions cost to start off at $3 per day. But you know what? The data never leaves your site. It's your data. It's your computing platform. It's your network. All of the infrastructure stays in your facilities or in your home. We can help you get started. You want to do business analytics. You want to see smart cities, smart buildings, and things like that. We can help you do it. The difference is the computing, the storage, and the data all remains in your hands. It's not ours. It's not our data to own. It's not our data to sell. It's always yours and yours alone. 
All you have to do is come to Kashingo.com.